Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit GDR4 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your, on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with an iPhone via the Zap application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the Zap application and, and your iPhone to send the notifications to the watch. So, let's open the settings on our iPhone by tapping on the settings icon. In settings, find the option called Bluetooth and tap on it. Right here you should see the list of my devices and on this list you should see Amazfit GTR4. Find it and tap on the info icon next to it. And here make sure that the share system notifications option is enabled. Once it, it is enabled, you can go back to the main page of settings, then scroll down to the list of applications. And on this list, find the Zep application. It's gonna be at the bottom. Once you find it, tap on it. Make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled. You can also enable the notifications, so you can tap on notifications and enable the uh, option called allow notifications. And once you're done, close the settings and open the Zep application on the iPhone uh, that is paired with your watch. After you open the application, you can tap on the profile icon and here you should see the Amazfit GTR4. Tap on it, then uh, scroll down and find the option called notifications and reminder. Tap on it and here we have app alerts, incoming SMS, incoming email. We don't see the mm, phone calls for some reason, but let's tap on app alerts first. And here we can enable and disable the notification for the apps by tapping on the switch. Once you enable them, you can also, as you can see, enable and disable the notifications for specific apps on this list. You have quite few apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp and stuff like that. Okay, so once you're done customizing this, you can go back and then you can tap on incoming SMS and here you can enable the notifications for SMS. So basically for the messages, you can tap on the switch to enable it. Once you enable it, you should be able to receive the notifications about the messages on your watch. And of course, we can also enable the notifications for the email. So you can tap on email, enable it right here. And once you turn it on, you should be able to receive the notifications about emails. Okay. And once you're done customizing the settings, you can close the application. At this point, you should be able to receive the notifications uh, on your watch. If you miss them, you can always wake up the screen on your watch, swipe upwards from the bottom of the screen to open the notification panel. And here you should see them. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.